What's going on guys and welcome back to part four of the water pump repair. As you can see the engine is a little bit cleaner than it was before. There's going to be more on this later and uh, sorry for the delay. There was a situation I had to make uh, arches for a wedding because we did hire somebody to do it and it didn't work out. So I kind of had to do this at the last minute. I only had about a day uh, to get this done and the wedding is tomorrow. So that's one of those emergency things that I had to do. Figure out how to make them, stain them, put them together. And uh, they're now done. And tomorrow I'm gonna set them up and we'll see what that looks like. But now that that's done, I can go ahead and get this uh, part four finished and hopefully the water pump will be done. All right, let's get started. And once again on the clean engine later. So that's gonna be coming up soon. All right guys, let's go. Tensioner. And we go on the alternator. Try not to squish your fingers there, because that would suck. There we go. Now for the water pump pulley, I believe it's um 18 to 18 to 20 pounds so but when I was taking them off it was quite a bit more than that so I'm gonna set it at 20 and see how that feels let's see here With 20, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's for the water pump. I can see being 20 because there's a gasket and blah blah blah, and it's aluminum. But this is a steel pulley, I think 20 is pretty weak. Let's see how 40 feels because I'm not even really applying that much pressure. The pulley is not even mo moving, as you can see. Okay, I'll do it at 40. I mean, it's a steel pulley uh, going into a steel thread. For the water pump, look, I can see that, like I said, because it's aluminum. But for that, I don't know. So I did 40, so we'll, we'll stick to 40. All right, and we're gonna use our trusty cardboard. So we can put that in here and get some protection for the ra radi radiator. All right. This might be a little challenging. Actually, it's not that bad. Thank you. 
Okay, where are we not fitting? I don't know where, but okay. This is this is where it might be useful to getting an extra set of hands. So you can have somebody maybe guide the bottom section or help you hold the fan in place. Now it's getting a little tricky. But once you get it, it's good. All right. So now we don't need the cardboard. The fan is on there. Okay, it's looking good here. I'm gonna go underneath to make sure that the two tabs are in the right holes. I had to realign the the tabs at, at the bottom there, but it was about maybe a, an inch off. And we can take we can now tighten the shroud. Okay. Now let's finish screwing on the fan. That's done. So now we're going to tighten the nut. All right. Now this fan. Now remember this fan. Now these fans are designed to tighten themselves so, don't, so they don't fly away when you're driving. So we're not going to be too worried about having it extremely tightened, but we, don't, we want to make sure that it's nice and good. Okay, one more time. hose right here. Let's put this guy on there. And there's that. And this one. All right. That's good. That's good. Clamp on. Let's put this one on and deal with the other one. Yeah, so maybe I should have put the other. All right, there's that. So yeah, maybe I should have uh, put this clamp on before I put the belt on because. It is a little bit awkward there, but it's all right. We're gonna go ahead and remove the alternator like that. No big deal. And then we're gonna take care of this clamp. It's still awkward, even with the belt on, it's still awkward. So yeah, a lot of times you gotta just 
to learn from others' mistakes, right? Let me see if I can get some better pliers. Here we go, these are a little better. All right, cool. And let's put the belt back on. Remember, don't pinch your fingers. Kind of get it from the side, there you go. Okay, let's double make sure, oh, uh, look at that. Can you guys see that? You want to make sure that the belt is nicely seated on the pulley. I think that's good. Let's double check everything. That one's good. Is that it? No, we're not done. We're going to get the tank on. Come on, guys. We're not done yet. Okay, let's get the tank. So now we're gonna remove the bolts from where they go. So on here, we got short one, goes on the right side. Two long ones go on the left side. So that's why I try to put bolts exactly where they go so I kind of have an idea so I don't get confused later on. Okay, so we have... That goes in here. I'm gonna get the bottom hose real quick. And then we'll do the top part. Got a shorty on this side. And the bottom here. All right, I think we're, now we're done. All right, everything is done, everything's connected, and uh, I, I'm hoping everything is good and we don't have any leaks. So what I'm gonna do first is actually I'm gonna pop the tank open and I'm gonna put in some just regular fresh water. And then we're gonna watch for leaks and see if anything's leaking, if everything's good. And then if everything's good, then I'm gonna drain the water and then I'm gonna put the antifreeze in and uh, distilled water. So I'm gonna do, we'll get to that after we uh, test everything, but uh, let's put some water in and see what we get. Well, we're not gonna check for leaks that way, are we? I'm 
Might as well wash the whole engine. <laughs> All right, let's put some water in and uh, see what happens. All right guys, so I put the water in and we are at full right now. We're at max and straight water, but there's a problem. There is a small problem. I started hearing some dripping on the bottom and it looks like it's coming from where I was hoping it wouldn't the neck right there with that gasket i think it's because it's old and because uh i was trying to clean it maybe i don't know maybe there's a crack or i don't know so that like i was saying it's good to always re replace all the o-rings that you can when you're doing stuff like this and so now you guys are learning from my mistake Yep. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? 